Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training. Let's take a look at how Andy Murray beat Novak Djokovic in the Montreal final. Now some of the key stats from the match. First serve percentage throughout the match for both players was 60%. Overall, Novak Djokovic won 69% of first serve points and Andy Murray 66. So very even overall on the stats. In the first two sets, very even. However, in the third set, something changed and this, I think, affected the whole match. So in the third set, Novak Djokovic only had 55% of first serves in. Andy Murray had 70% of first serves in. So this allowed Andy Murray to be more aggressive on Novak Djokovic's second serve. Now Novak Djokovic only won 10 points in the whole of the third set on his first serve, whereas Andy Murray won 26 on his first serve. Now another key stat from the third set was Andy Murray faced 9 break points and he saved all 9 of those, so 100% of saving break points in the third set. And Novak Djokovic, he faced 5 and obviously Murray got that 1 break. Now this was the biggest game of the whole match in my opinion. It was 1 love to Andy Murray in the third set. It was juice and on second serve, Andy Murray attacked the second serve, came to net and won that point by putting pressure onto Novak Djokovic. Now on Andy Murray's break point, next point, he played an aggressive point and he ghosted in, he snuck into net and he finished off with the volley and this is something that we haven't seen Murray doing so often the last two years but this was a really aggressive Murray and someone who's really staying close to the baseline and trying to dictate play. Now overall the match was won and lost on a couple of points and it was also in the third set that Murray faced all those break points and managed to save them and that was the difference between the both players in the third set. The fact that Murray was able to step up, take on Djokovic's second serve and attack the net to finish off the point and Djokovic couldn't do the same back to Murray. Now Murray's court position has changed throughout his career. At the start of his career he used to play quite far back. Yesterday against Novak he was staying close to the baseline and trying to dictate play with that aggressive baseline approach. Now that was my opinion on how the match was won. Murray being more aggressive than we've seen him since Ivan Lendl uh, left his camp. So this was a big change in Murray's mentality going in, playing aggressive and trying to really dictate play from the baseline and also being willing to come to net to finish off points. Let me know what you think. How do you think the match was won and lost? And who do you think is favourite heading into the US Open? Leave me a comment down below. I love reading them. Hi, this is David Ferrer. I am here with my good friends Simon and Alex from Top Tennis, trying to help you with your tennis. Are you losing matches because you're using the wrong tactics against the type of opponent you're playing? Are you losing matches because you're too nervous to compete at your best? Are you losing matches because you're not physically fit enough or are unaware of the tennis related fitness you should be using to prepare for a match? I can help with your problems and reveal my secrets to win. To join the free David Ferrer Secrets of Tennis course, all you have to do, click on the link above or underneath this video. See you inside.